Today I'm going to be reviewing Insomniac's Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4. This game was high on my list to play. I am late on my review. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. You know, real life garbage, but I'm back. So starting off with a look at the game, it looks amazing. Graphics are bright and colorful. Spider-Man looks great. The faces on the character show so much detail and the movement is almost real. This fluid motion makes you that much more invested in the story. The new suit with the white Spider-Man logo, logo on it is one of my favorites. It stands out and is unique. Gameplay is rocky at first. I felt myself not too good at the combat or web slinging for that matter. After a few hours I got, got it and with the addition of the skill tree improved so much more. I felt like like ugh, I felt like I felt like the Spider-Man. That's right, powerful, agile, hard to hit and funny with the singers. It feels like the Arkham game sometimes and that is a good thing. But now the web slinging. Yes, it is fantastic. It is fun. I bet you could just do it all day long and not care because it's so freaking awesome. I'm going to talk about the side missions now. Some engaging and some just plain silly. Like for example, there's a mission where you have to collect data on pollution clouds by swinging through the polluted clouds. Um, Peter, get a respirator already. What? You couldn't find one? You work in a lab. You should have a respirator. Anyways, that's one of my minor gripes with the game. Um, I'm going to talk about the boss battles. They were epic. Great action sequences. There was patterns to them. And you use Spidey Sense throughout. The bosses are unique. And Insomniac did a wonderful job with the design. Story was great. It was so great, in fact, this could be a movie. And I would be freaking happy about it. So speaking of story, you also get to play as Miles Morales and you get to play as MJ, which is kind of cool. You get to see the different aspects. At first, I wasn't a big fan because most of the missions are just you as MJ sneaking around, which is like kind of boring, kind of takes you out of it. You're like, I'd rather be playing as Spider-Man, swinging around, doing all this crazy shit. But later in the game, you get to have missions where MJ is there and Spider-Man is there. I'm not trying to spoil too much. I'm just going to leave it at that. But that was pretty cool. It'd be like... What if I was there and Spider-Man was there? That is very neat kind of dynamic. So I forgave it. You know, it was part of the storytelling and it actually worked. And MJ is pretty freaking awesome. And Miles is pretty cool too. Um, I'm just hoping in the sequel they they uh, do more with the gameplay. And I think they will. I'm not going to spoil too much. But yeah, let's move on a bit. J. Jonah Jameson is hilarious. He had me cracking up. He has his own podcast in the show. That is very cool um, and hilarious. Summing it all up, this is a must have. Buy it, download it, this is a gem. There's a lot of fun to be had here. You know, it's a masterpiece. It is the best Spider-Man game out there to date um, until Insomniac comes out with the sequel. Please make a sequel, please make a sequel. All right, thank you so much. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications because I'm going to have a lot more videos coming your way. Thank you so much. Have a great day, everyone, and enjoy your gaming. Oh, Mike, if you're watching this video because I know you're one of the only people that watches my video, I see you, I hear you, and I understand you. So, Mike... I challenge you to make a video. <laughs> I'm so evil, aren't I? <laughs> Mike is a very common name. I'm sorry if you thought I was talking about you. I'm talking about this guy that is named Mike Diesel. Mike Diesel, not Mike H. I'm sorry, Mike H. If you see this Mike A to Z, I'm sorry. But it's for Mike Diesel and Mike Diesel only. Have a great day. Thank you. Do not sue me. Bye-bye.